And howdy do. <laughs> hey, it's like I said, I ordered two glasses. I wanted this one to warm up a little bit. Uh, oh, I'm kidding. I was kind of a very interesting nose, I'll tell you that right now. It even changed as it sat for a little bit. As I uh, Originally, I was getting a whole lot of grapefruit. There's something else going on there that, wow, I'm just not picking up yet. It's going to take me a minute. It's got that almost an old school European beer feel to it. They are serving it a tad cold for a double IPA, so it actually is a little better as it warms. Um, uh, but now as it warms up, uh, the hops are, are bigger than they were before. There is a lot more going on here, though, especially at 9%. I got ready to drink. I guess I didn't know people didn't like it. I can see it, though. I'm getting grapefruit. I'm still getting uh, 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 some banana and some uh, pineapple here on it. I am getting some. I'm, I'm getting bigger uh, spicy notes than I was before, though. You're getting some piney, piney spicy right at the end. Kind of a medium-bodied uh, double IPA. Oh, yeah. uh, it's very interesting. I tell you what, it, it is. It does seem to be very different than anything on the market. Uh, I've had a lot, and there's a lot I haven't had. I'm not implying that I've had everything. But wow, this is. Just, uh, I'm having a hard time getting a handle on it because it is so different. Uh, it's damn fine. No, I say that right now. Beer whisper like stuff. Compared to the Troublemaker, uh, I wish I had a Troublemaker here. Um, they haven't made that yet this season. Um, it's a little different animal than the Troublemaker. Again, sometimes it's hard to even compare the double, uh, double or imperial IPAs side by side because sometimes they're intended to be something different. And this one really would be even hard to compare to its own Troublemaker because I think their 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 intention was something completely different. So it's really hard to compare. It's a very interesting beer, very likable. Um, uh, it, it is going to appeal to hopheads. It's not going to appeal to the hopheads. If you're not a big fan of this type of beer, it's not going to work for you at all. Uh, but personally, I'm kind of digging her. Uh, and, uh, yeah, um, the, the guy in there I talked to, I asked what he thought it ought to be served at. And he said about 50 degrees. They're serving it probably starting. They're probably starting at somewhere between 35 and 40. I don't even think it's quite 40. It's probably closer to 38. Uh, because I drank the first glass and let it warm up. But this one actually, this uh, this beer actually works better at about the temp I've got it now. And I think I've probably got it close to that. It's probably somewhere between 45 to 50 right now. Oh yeah. Because uh, they're pouring a beer in cold glasses uh, out of a cold tap. Uh, so they're getting it a lot colder than a beer like this needs to be. Uh, that's kind of an American thing. Most American bars do serve things very cold. That's not something I generally mind, though, to be honest, because I, I, I like to feel how things change as they evolve. Uh, but it, but th this beer clearly is better as it warms. I wish I could. I, I gotta tell you, I don't. I'm struggling. I, I uh, haven't got a game for a while. I'm, there's something on the aroma here that I'm just still missing. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's this musty smell that's different. I'm not sure what I'm getting. I'm definitely getting some pineapple. The, the citrus is clearly there. But there's something else that I'm just not sure what it is. 
and it may be a fruit I'm not recognizing, to be honest with you, that there's something else there that I'm just not getting, and I'm, I want to be honest enough with you to tell you, hey, man, I'm not, I don't know everything. I, I'm more of an enthusiast than an expert, but man. I do love beers like this that make you work for it a little bit, though. <laughs> I do. This one does make you work like for it a little man. bit. Yeah, you want to, you know. Holy crap! So much. Uh, but I digress. Uh, holy crap. Uh, seriously, there's uh, there's a lot going on in this baby. Uh, it, it, uh, I, I love the trouble, Mac. I really do. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to say I like this better because it's completely different. But it is more complex. I, I, I am going to jump out on that limb and say it's a more complex beer than the Troublemaker because there's a lot going on. It's going to take more than, than, than two small glasses of this to figure it out. It really is. You know what? I'm going to cut this video down because I can sit here for another 5-10 minutes and talk to you about it. But I'm going to let it warm just a tad more and do one more on it. So bad. Over, can you say overkill time? Hey, this is a beer whisper. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let this warm just a tad more and do one more video, okay? Stay with me. Come on. Won't you? <laughs>